Well, next month in downtown Louisville, one of the country's oldest historically black colleges and universities, Simmons College of Kentucky, right here based in Louisville, will be playing the University of Louisville at the Yum Center. It's not the first time the two teams have played since Simmons created its athletic department in 2015 with both men's and women's programs. It's an important milestone, though, for the growth of Simmons and athletic director Jerry Eves is joining me live here to talk about it. Jerry, thank you very much. When you play the team that mm -hmm. you brought the national ch first national championship to in 1980, yes. we're talking about U of L. You were on that team. What do you think, as the athletics director of uh, Simmons now? Well, of course, working for Reverend Cosby is the best. The only thing he's ever told me is to do it first class, always do it the right way. So it's been a wonderful job, the best job I've ever had, just having an opportunity to be an athletic director and start programs. And we've done that with the men's and women's basketball program. The Falcons, you're growing the Falcons team. Yes, we are. Uh, you begin uh, exhibition play with Indiana University Southeast, mm -hmm. and then the U of L game comes up. Tell us when, when that's coming October up. October the 18th, we'll play Louisville, their first exhibition game. And it'll be a great experience for our kids, of course, and, and the fans and the local area. I think Coach Payne and Josh Hurd have done a tremendous job scheduling Simmons, Bellarmine last year, Bellarmine this year, to bring back the local flavor to the game. Coach Mack did the same thing, and I was appreciative of that opportunity. Tell people why you want them to come out to support the Simmons Falcons. How's your record been so far, and where do you see your team uh, coming well, this year? Well, last year, men's uh, team won their region and lost in the tournament to go to the national championship. The women won their region and went to the national championship and came in fourth place in the nation. So they did a tremendous job. I lost my coach. Uh, Daniel Price went to Marsha as an assistant. I heard Earl Ruffin to replace him. He was the assistant, and I've got most of my girls back. So I expect us to win it with the girls program this year. Now, you uh, just came to us after viewing the L men's basketball practice. Yes, I did. Give us a review. What does Kenny Payne face this year as he's going into uh, – Year two after a tough year, number one. No question. I mean, growing pains, but he's got a tremendous team. He's got great length in Dennis Evans. Trey White is a tremendous shooter from USC. Sky Clark knows how to handle the ball. He's got talent. We've got James back from last year's team, which is improving. I like everything. Karan Davis, the junior college kid, can play. What's the pressure like on Coach Payne this year? Well, people have to understand there's pressure on every coach, but it's how you handle it. But Everyone's th but talking this year, about pressure. A lot of scrutiny. Uh, there was scrutiny last year. The That's part the, of the, it. The attendance was down. So what, true. What is, is true. what is your uh, what is your view? You've always been a straight shooter when it comes to you. No, no. University of Louisville, they'll be happy with the team that they have this year. Of course, it didn't take one year to get here, and it was. It's not going to take one or two years to turn this around. But they're going to see a huge difference in the talent level, which is one of the reasons we re hired Coach Payne, super recruiter, and he's brought great talent. He and Nolan Smith, Danny Manning have done a tremendous job, and people are going to enjoy this team. We ought to the say fans that will be back. before you agreed to this interview, you were actually going down to Kentucky to watch the yes, UK <laughs> basketball practice. How, yes, often, how does that happen for oh, Mr. Coach Cal, Coach Cal and I go way back. I mean, just way back. So I had to cancel it because you're my man. <laughs> I'll go next week and oh. watch them and see Dewan Wagner and Edwards and Bradshaw and their team. And I go three or four times a year. Coach Cal welcomes me. Well, let's show folks your uh, season opener here. We've okay. got a graphic here to put together mm -hmm. for you. Uh, Jerry, we'll go down your exhibition game versus the Indiana Charms begins exactly. on the 14th. And then mm -hmm. that exhibition game at the U of L uh, with Yum, U of L. Yum, sir. What time is that game? 7 p.m. Okay. Yes. Uh, season opener at Indiana University Southeast. That's Wiley Brown's team. Just remember that. Big Brown. And the head coach there been there for about 13, 14 years. And you've developed the women's program. We've got, uh, we've got their uh, women's basketball team on there. Yes. Tell us about the season opener there. Well, again, we've got a tremendous job, and we've got Wilberforce. We've got an opener. I, I'm not too worried about any of the teams that the girls play until the championship. All right. But the girls have tremendous talent. They're really well coached. They're disciplined. They're mature. And it's going to be a fantastic season. But definitely come to the Wilberforce game, two HBCUs. It'll be a great thing. We'll have it down at St. Stephen's Family Life Center. And Reverend Cosby's a great host. Is that home court for Simmons? Absolutely. All right. Jerry Eves, thank you very much. And, of course, thank you. he's got his own radio show every morning on 790 a.m., the Jerry Eves Show. Get up in the morning. Exactly. 7 a.m. 790. Okay. I listen to you. Thank you very much, Jerry. Thank